Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at Dolores HMS. This is a small little box. It's got a game inside, obviously. That's what the show's mainly about. And this one is put out uh, by... Oh, I can't even read that. L Louis Meme? Meme? I don't know. As Modi, in association with some French company I can't pronounce. Sorry. Uh, it's L U I dash M E M E, which, you know, normally we associate with meme, but I uh, don't know. This contains a rule book and 80 cards. Uh, the principle of the game, according to the box, is freebooters have lit signal fires along the shorelines, jagged rocks to lure ships that become lost in the stormy night. One sh such ship, HMS Dolores, has just run aground, salvaging the ship's cargo. The looters convene to divvy up the spoils by way of a strange ritual. So the principle, or the, uh, the goal of the game is to collect loot. And it's sort of reminiscent of Cash and Guns, if you've ever played that one. So it's a great kind of party game. So uh, this one, uh, let's see the recommendeds on here. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. Not for children under three due to small parts. But there's no playtime listed on the box. No age recommendations. Oh, uh, here it is. <laughs> I'm smart. Literacy's hard. Two to four players, about 20 minutes, ages 14 and up. Sorry about my phone. It's dumb. So, let's open this up, see what we've got. See what kind of... It, like I said, it's not a real big box, but there are 80 cards. Um, so, there's a little bit here. All right, box quality is pretty good actually. It's got kind of a smooth finish to it. Uh, rule book's nice and smooth. Um, looks like we use some uh, basic uh, hand gesturing. Sharing contest resolution summary. So, yep. Uh, it's about 15, 16 page rule book. This is page 16. Colorful, real nice quality paper. Uh, a couple ads it looks like, but looks like a pretty straightforward, easy game. It's got pictures of all the cards. Uh, the contents are 70 good cards with, of seven different types, and there are 10 message cards. Uh, depicting a message in a bottle, including one drawn card, or dawn cards. So there's a, a contents list in here too, which is real nice. So that'll help you if you don't have a chance to watch the video. Make sure the rule book's accounted for. All right, then we've just got this inset with the cards. So it looks like they just fit right in here. Um, this is brand new, and there's already a tear in the cardboard here. So this insert is not all that good of quality. You can see it's bent, and the only thing it's been in is this. It's never been opened, so... I don't know why that's torn and dented the way it is. But let's take a look at our cards here and see what we've got. So they're secured with this uh, piece of paper here. All right, there's our Dawn card. Um, it's that way on both sides. Then we've got these ship cards, or the Message in a Bottle cards. And then the rest of these are the loot cards. So let's look at these last and take a look at these message in a bottles. The back of the card. And here we have a um, sh the ritual thing. Sharing contest. And we've got the shipwreck. This guy's arguing. Spying. Broken Lantern, some sort of treacherous looking shenanigans, four crates, bunch of crates in water, and a cutthroat. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward. The card quality is real nice, they got a real nice finish on them, real nice and smooth. 
So let's look at our loot pile card here. We got these say uh, the Dolores on them. So there's seven of these. And then this one that has a number two. We got two of those. A three. There's a different one. So there's seven of those then. And the pattern should be consistent. Yep, there's two of the two twos and then a three. And there's a purple one. Seven of those, and then there should be two twos and a three. And then we've got a green with a violin on it. Seven number ones, two number twos, and a number three. Then we have yellow or gold or yellow, whatever color that is. We got seven number ones, and there's number two. We got two of those. Then we have a three. Then we have this dark blue, which is like China, looks like. There's our seven number ones, our two number twos, and a number three. Then we have uh, red, which is wine. There's our seven number ones, our two number twos, and a number three. So the card quality is really nice. Um, the art's good. Um, I, I think they'll hold up okay. They have a real good feel to it. Well, nice and smooth texturing. Uh, there's probably going to be some edge wear if they're used heavily or by r rough non-gamers. Uh, they might get a little beat up. But they're uh, a weird size, so you're not going to be able to protect them very well. So there is that to consider as well. Um, overall, though, real nice looking cards. Uh, pretty impressed with it as far as quality goes. I would have to say that it is definitely... Uh, a nice looking set the box quality the outer box is great this insert piece is garbage it's all beat up already I'm a little disappointed with that I'm not gonna lie so overall I would say um, the HMS Dolores uh, sinking may have been on purpose but it does look like an entertaining kind of game so, yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I think it's pretty nice. Um, I'm not uh, upset with the quality at all. I think it's actually pretty impressive. Uh, that one insert piece is the only thing to really complain about. But otherwise, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, it looks like a good investment, a, a good casual game uh, that anybody could probably pick up. I don't think it would be uh, too difficult to get non-gamers to play this because it looks more like a cross between um, One Night Ultimate Werewolf and uh, uh, Cash and Guns. So yeah, um, I would say this is probably 
a good one to get if you find it at a reasonable price. Uh, I don't know if I would go more than 20 on it, but I don't think that would be an issue either. So yeah, I would say uh, this is a good one for a party game like a beer and pretzels or a casual thing, holidays, that sort of thing, where you can sit around with some people and kind of hang out and have some fun, very casual. Uh, nothing major, serious, not a lot of pieces to it that you won't be able to tell are missing if there is anything missing. So I won't worry about that too much. Quick flip through the deck. There's only 80 cards. So if one's missing, you should be able to pinpoint what it is fairly quickly. So the quality is good. Um, small amount of pieces, good for casual party type situations and for non-gamers and gamers alike. So this would definitely go on my recommend list. Uh, because it is a very straightforward game and I think it'd be fun. But uh, that'll do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.